We are very grateful for the opportunity to be able to offer you a window to Islam and to ask you the question, what do you know about Islam? And we mean, what do you, what do you really know about Islam? Not what you've heard about Islam and not what you have read in the newspapers, not what you have seen on television, not what your teacher or your professor said about Islam, not what your neighbors or your friends said or what the priest or the minister of your church said, but what what you have come to understand from basic facts, historical, scriptural facts about the system of life which is called Islam. Not even necessarily what you have witnessed through the behavior of some Muslims because I don't think I have to tell an objective person that a Christian is not necessarily an example of the life of Christ. And a Muslim, therefore, is not necessarily an example of the faith that he or she might claim to embrace. To be fair and objective, Such sources of information about Islam or any other faith would not be an acceptable source for judging or understanding anything or anyone. Why then are so many people convinced and why are so many people standing in judgment about a subject that they have very little information, if any, and very few actual facts about. The strangest thing is that Islam is a system of life, a global faith, that one could know very easily by going to the sources, and the Qur'an has two sources. One is a scriptural source, which is the Qur'an, and the other is a human source, which is the life of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him. In the same way, we could make an objective investigation into the life and message of Jesus Christ and that would allow us to know if we want to call ourselves Christians how we could follow the life and message of Jesus Christ look directly to his message called the evangel or the good news and look directly to his life and his behavior this will tell us what it is to be a Christian if we want to use that terminology. Now I realize that some people came here this evening to contend with a preconditioned mind. Having done some preparation which they may consider to be a critique of some sort. And that's okay. That's fine. But my presentation this evening is not for those people. They're welcome to listen. And given the opportunity, 
they're welcome to put f